Trust in politicians has all but disappeared in the UK and possibly in France as well, uh, as everything kicks off there too. And in, and in fact, the French are going to end up with a, uh, a a new parliament, a new national assembly, I think slightly before we are in four weeks or so. So that 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 is uh, quite quite remarkable. But um, we. We, we, we're going to be flooded with party um, manifestos in the next couple of days. Uh, Starmer's is going to be boring because his his message is that everything uh, is steady and he is a solid pair of hands and he's not going to do anything alarming except possibly uh, put VAT on private schools. And there's a debate about that this morning with two different uh, Labour Party front benchers getting heated up about whether or not there's going to be a flood of former private school students um, going into state school classrooms which can't accommodate them. And there's a cartoon in one of the newspapers this morning, I can't remember which one, with a picture of uh, the St Trinian's girls coming off a bus into a state school. And uh, it, it's looking as if it's going to be very difficult to uh, find space for them and their personalities so beautifully uh, imagined by Ronald Searle, the companion to How to Be Top. And and if you don't know the Molesworth cartoons, they're so much better. Uh, and the St. Trillian's cartoons are so much better than the St. Trillian's films, which are a bit dated even in the remake versions. But the cartoons are never redated, and they pinpoint... Uh, <laughs> filth and um, bad bad behavior bad behavior uh, in 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 a way that is endlessly entertaining and and I think it's not just about um, prep schools and private schools it's about schooling in general so do 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 check them out. It, it 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 lay the groundwork for all the sort of Beano stuff, the Bash Street kids, and uh, and 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 so on. Um, and and I, and I think it's it picks up a tone. I don't think it's. I I I I would recommend that you have a look at the teachers in these stories, who are um, astonishingly loose and bad and distracted and. More interested in their um, in their retirement than they are in what they're doing, which which is one of the issues about education. We need to. There, there are three things. When when I was teaching teachers how to teach, um, and I was trying to export the best of what we have in Britain to other countries, I would say that there are three things a teacher should do: inspire, control, uh, or mark and inform. And of those three, the third one is the one that is least needed, because actually students have much greater access and much greater capability of ploughing through the internet than most teachers. And indeed, I think COVID has shown us that we can have, we can have a lot of the information brought into a class via the computer and computer screens. So teachers don't need to provide the information, they need to provide the inspiration and uh, to monitor students' development. And I don't think they're doing that. I don't think teachers feel free enough to be inspiring. Some are, of course. Or many teachers are inspiring. Almost all teachers are inspiring. But many are trapped by bureaucracy and um, paper ticking, box filling. And they feel completely overwhelmed by the process. So the bit in the in front of the students is the smallest part of their day. And they are up till God knows when every night marking and preparing and uh, going through all the rubrics that need to be ticked. And we need to free teachers of that rubbish. We need to get teachers back in the classrooms who are inspiring, who may be even mavericks. Doesn't really matter. What matters is the children feel energized 
to genuinely research, genuinely work. And when you ask children to find information, they will find it. When you give children information, they become bored and they fiddle with their phones. And incidentally, as a teacher, I can tell you, you always know when a child is on the phone because there's a light. And there's a different body language. And for some reason, students in classes from quite young, right the way up to university, don't seem to have realised that teachers can generally see everything. Anyway, back to the business of our trust in politics and MPs. So after uh, Sunak's decision not to join the event on Omaha Beach last week, and uh, people have said he doesn't really care about history, which that's Farage, so he should be, he doesn't really care about our history. He doesn't really care, frankly, about our culture. The man is not patriotic. And, uh, and Laura Quinsberg took him to task for this and said, you know, what do you mean by culture? It's an ill-advised thing to have said. I feel very comfortable with that, he said. But then said, you know, what he meant was that Rishi Sunak was rich. Uh, not that he had an Asian heritage, but of course it's not quite how it comes across. Lawrence Fox used the term culture to mean anybody who is going to vote out the ECHR. The ECHR, of course, is the thing that pretty well guarantees the Good Friday Agreement. So, there are no, there are no surprises in what Starmer's got to offer. Will there be surprises in what Rishi Sunak's got to offer? Well, he may decide... Um, to to dump the European Convention on Human Rights. He may decide that. And that's certainly what the right wing of the party is demanding. I think it's unlikely, because he knows how much the Northern Ireland agreement depends on that. But if he doesn't expect to win, frankly, he can promise anything. So I think we might see a very interesting and a very imaginative and, frankly, fantastic as in deceitful, absurd, impossible, fantastic election manifesto from the Conservative Party. But, you know, uh, the Conservative Party is now, whether we like it or not, controlled by Farage, and Jacob Rees-Mogg is one of those who has called for Farage to hold high office in the Conservative Party. Uh, Farage believes that he and reform should replace the Conservatives as the real opposition. And uh, since, since he has dumped Richard Tice, though Richard Tice and he are going to be presenting the manifesto together, apparently, later on in the week, um... This has seen a surge in support for Reform UK. Well, yes, why not? Because Reform UK has got the only politician in Britain who has monumental name recognition in the same way that Boris had. Farage. 